welcome to the Christian News Service of Radio Safira. Today is Monday, October 9th. We invite you to listen to the latest news from our country and around the world. Church leaders in the Holy Land condemn the violence in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and call for peace and dialogue. In recent days, the conflict between Hamas and Israel has escalated, with Israel declaring a state of war. Reverend and Berghardt of the World Lutheran Federation calls for peaceful solutions and the intervention of the international community. The Federation expresses its solidarity with the victims of the conflict and prays for peace for both Israel and Palestine. Pope Francis has once again appointed a woman to a high-ranking position in the Roman Curia. On Saturday, he appointed Sister Simona Brumbilla as secretary in the Vatican Dicastery for Institutes of Consecrated Life and Societies of Apostolic Life. The 52-year-old Sister Brumbilla holds the second-highest position in the Dicastery, following Cardinal Prefect João Braz de Arveis. Participants from the Vatican Synod of Bishops of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church met with Metropolitan Job from the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople. They discussed the situation in Ukraine and interfaith relations in the country amid the ongoing war. Over 300 Bolivians gathered near the Inkachaka Dam to pray for rain and an end to the drought. Ten reservoirs supplying one of the country's largest cities, La Paz, have water for only 135 more days. Prayers were held in Aymara, Quechua, and Spanish. If rains don't come, the city's water supply will be exhausted by February. The 35,000-member Kenyan Mennonite Church held its first national convention in eight years. The meeting concluded with a foot-washing ceremony and the Lord's Supper. Bishop Samson Omondi emphasized the importance of the Mennonite World Conference mission and its close relationship with the church. The situation in Kenya is challenging due to rising food prices caused by the war in Ukraine. Omondi expressed hope for economic support for the community and emphasized a deep bond with the global body of Christ. The North American Division of the Seventh-day Adventist Church organized its annual Sabbath School Conference. Adventists met virtually for training sessions and worship services. Participants had the chance to join interactive discussions and listen to lectures. The importance of Sabbath school in church life and the importance of involving youth were highlighted. In Nashville, at the North Point Community Baptist Church, a conference on homosexuality considering the Bible took place. Ol Mola Jr. criticized the ideas of the conference, arguing that there should be no room for loose interpretations of the Bible, even in this context. Andy Stanley, the church's pastor, responded to Mola's comments, pointing out that Jesus took a more open approach to people, differing from the traditional interpretation of Christianity. Both Mola and Pastor David Prince criticized this perspective. In Poland, the program to reduce the gap in psychiatric treatment has been launched. The initiative aims to improve access to medical care. Many people with mental health issues avoid seeking help for fear of stigmatization. The program will train primary care doctors to recognize disorders and refer patients to specialists. The initiative was created in cooperation with the World Health Organization, the Institute of Psychiatry and Neurology, and the Ministry of Health. Mateusz Waligera traveled 835 kilometers along the Oda River in 32 days, from its sources in the Czech Republic to its mouth, to rediscover its beauty and raise awareness about ecology. Photographer Carolina and journalist Dominik Szczeponski accompanied him on the expedition. Waligera emphasized that the Oda is a river full of stories and that Poles should care for its condition rather than objectify it. He recalled captivating landscapes, including the Andes, the lush forests of Lower Silesia, and the mysterious Cistercian Abbey in Lubias. That's all for today's news service. We wish you a good week ahead. Stay tuned to Safira FM. May God bless us all.